Hello my soccer universe. Well, let's keep this relatively short because I did not see any of the games. I only saw highlights. We had yesterday celebrating my wife's birthday. And when you're in company, there is no way that you're gonna uh, watch games. I had a teeny hope to see a little bit of a second half, but then uh, it turned out very quickly that this is we are too comfortable there. So not gonna happen that way. And yes, I did not get my wife a soccer jersey, but the other way around, might well happen. I'm wearing France away. Yes, France won, as we will see. Um, not too proud of that win, but I think it's too nice of a jersey to not wear it. And yeah, uh, the other nice thing is that there were not too many games. So in the sidebar, I will be actually able to fit not only the results, but also the tables uh, switching over. So that to me is kind of a plus. That's always what I wanted to do, but uh, never really managed. But for now, at least for one video, I will do so. Let's start at the big result. The Czechs beat England 1-0, despite Harry Kane getting a very early penalty. Uh, Raheem Sterling earned the panel penalty, but Kane converted the fifth minute. The Czechs very, very quickly came back, I think only five minutes later. Uh, defender, let me quickly check uh, name, Brabets, um, made it 1-1. Uh, was rather poor defending of uh, England, I gotta say. And the Czechs kept up the pressure in the first half. Only the second half, I th from what I could see, the England came a little bit more back into the game. But in the end, it's Andrasek in the 85th, right after, I think Kane had a pretty good chance, who made it 2-1 for the Czechs. And that's a monumental win, because as we see down at the table, not only do the Czechs draw level now with England, still behind England, still having a game more, but you know, they draw level. But it's also the first loss for England in 10, more than 10 years in a qualifying game, so uh, that doesn't happen that often. Montenegro against Bulgaria. That's the one game where I couldn't find any decent highlights. I saw the stats and it was very, very even all over the place. Um, nil, nil draw. I don't even want to say dreary because I have not seen a thing. So uh, sorry about that. So we see no understandings. I mean, England and the Czechs will probably qualify from this one. Kosovo has an outside chance uh, if they can get a result against the Czechs. Montenegro and Bulgaria, unfortunately, are out of contention uh, already. In Group B, Portugal uh, got a 3-0 win over Luxembourg. Relatively painless, I have to say. Bernardo Silva gets the 1-0 Ronaldo uh, with a nicely worked goal where uh, he takes the ball, he pressures the defender, gets the ball, and then lobs it sweetly over the goalkeeper. And then uh, a very late uh, Gonzalo Guedes uh, uh, adds a third one. Ronaldo is now one goal away from officially having 700, and yeah, I think he wants to break the overall record. Let's see if he will get there. Um, Portugal looks good in the group, but I think it's Ukraine that really looks comfy. With a 2-0 win over Lithuania, uh, that was, you know, quite comfy. For me, it's more remarkable because I found we, it's one of those rare games where Lithuania actually has to play in an away colors, and so they did. Uh, in red, which I always find a little bit weird, but yeah, uh, they have red jerseys. Uh, Lithuania completely out of it, and Ukraine is more or less a point or two away from securing uh, qualification. They now play Portugal in a tie that's actually more important to Portugal than to Ukraine, because Ukraine surely will make uh, those points that they need, but uh, they are so far near flawless. They just got a draw in Portugal and everything else was wins and rather comfortable wins at that. And then uh, the last group uh, starts with the result of the evening. <laughs> Andorra getting a win over Moldova. The first win in a European qualifying campaign. A um, little bit helped by a red card, stupid red card, yellow, yellow red for Moldova who had a little bit more of the game but in the end uh, first corner and Andorra converts. Uh, the hero is Mark Valles and it's gotta be said the goalkeeper um, Gomez who made really two uh, good saves. So uh, those are the results that make me happy. Also, also not the similarities between the flags of Andorra and Moldova. Uh, Turkey got the scrappiest of wins over Albania. That game was headed for a nil-nil draw with Albania actually having really two 
good chances. Turkey not getting much and then a miscommunication between Strakosha and the defender. Uh, at the edge of the box, the ball goes through and it's very easy uh, for Tosun to put it into the net. And Turkey looks really pretty in this group. Also because France got the win against Iceland. Uh, they dominated, but Iceland really, with their robot style, gave France trouble. Um, it needed a penalty uh, that looked weird. It really looked like Griezmann uh, fell because uh, the contact happened so quickly. And then the two uh, got so, so apart. So I saw first, I really thought that Griezmann flopped and the referee got it. But replay shows that there is on the thigh uh, contact. And yeah, Griezmann takes that one and Giroud uh, puts it into the net, make it 1-0. Matuidi hits the post and I think he also with a volley uh, knocked out an Icelandic um, player. But yeah, we have the big duel, uh, France-Turkey coming up, uh, probably for first place. And we have to see what Iceland, uh, if they can get back into it, um, they have to get a win now. Um, Otherwise, they stand no chance and they have to also win in Turkey to really uh, improve the chance. By the moment, six points, that seems to be a biggie. I think a draw between Turkey and France will suit both quite well. Well, let's hope that this uploads faster than yesterday's video. It's a lot shorter, so I have some hope. Uh, let me know on the games yesterday. I don't think that the English result is that big of an accident. It can happen. Honestly, uh, they will still qualify. That's the most important one. You don't need to make style points now. England should know that because they played some perfect qual qual qualifications and completely fell apart at the tournament. So just get through it. And I think that's what they're going to do. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Drop a comment below on the matches. I don't know much more. I will be happy to know from those. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also consider subscribing to my channel to keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.